Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for the mind map for 5.2 Alkin. So where can you get this uh, mind map? It is actually available on your Google Classroom. When you see under the topic of organic nodes, uh, you can see the first one is mind map organic. So when you um, look at that link, you can see here mind map chapter 5 until chapter 10. So actually this document is uh, a compilation um, from chapter 5.2 Alkin until uh, chapter 10 carboxylic acid uh, with a total of 8 pages. Okay, so you can uh, refer to refer it to this part lah, organic notes under the topic of organic notes. Okay, so without further ado, let's look for the, uh, for our mind map itself. Okay, but then kenapa dalam case ni? Okay, for the mind map ni, why do we learn only 5.2 Alkin? How about 5.1? Okay, 5.1 is actually our Alkin. When we look back on our notes, uh, 5.1, chemical properties, there's only two, combustion and halogenation. Okay, why only two reaction? Because alkene is a saturated compound and it's very unreactive lah. So that's why the reaction only two. But then for the case of alkene, it's another story. So that's why we're going to do the reaction of alkene together. Okay, so... When we're talking about the uh, reaction of alkene, the first reaction that we have seen is actually the preparation of alkene where the reaction is actually elimination reaction. Okay, for the case of elimination reaction, it will follow the Seizer rule where the major product is where alka more alkyl group attached to the carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, that's one way to see it or another way to see it. Once you remove your, for example, uh, dehydration of alcohol, you remove the OH. Okay, when you remove the hydrogen uh, next to next to it, you have to check lah what is the classification of the hydrogen itself. Okay, so uh, here it mentioned that tertiary is more stable than secondary. Secondary is more stable than primary. So if you have tertiary, uh, this that will be your major lah. And primary will be your minor. Okay. So for the case of preparation of alkene, we have uh, we have learned about two. One is dehydration of alcohol. Okay, dehydration. Uh, D ni, it means that we remove hydration ni. Macam hydration ni is water lah kan. In this case, dehydration, we remove water. But for the case of removal of water, we're going to remove one OH and remove hydrogen. Okay, so in this case, uh, yang ni uh, I have written down beforehand. Uh, remove OH and remove the hydrogen next to it. Uh, we do get our propene here. Okay, next preparation of alkene uh, that we have learned is dehydrohalogenation. Dehydrohalogenation ni, D remove, hydro is our hydrogen. Halogen ni, uh, depends on the um, halogen given. If uh, the compound contain Br, we're going to remove Br. If it contain Cl, we're going to remove Cl. Okay, how about the reagent? Okay, the reagent will be sodium hydroxide, uh, ethanol and reflux. Okay, so here what we're going to remove going to remove our bromine and next we're going to remove the hydrogen too uh, not based on the same carbon we're going to remove from the carbon next lah so we're going to remove this one okay because for this uh, for this example okay, carbon that contain OH then carbon that contain uh, Br ni uh, the neighboring carbon only one kan so sebab itulah dia tak ada yang major minor product okay so that is actually for the preparation of alkene. Okay, next, what we're going to look at is actually, uh, we're going to look at the electrophilic addition of um, alkene. Where the electrophilic addition will follow the Markovnikov rule, where the electrophile will add to the carbon with more hydrogen. Uh, mostly, we're going to look at, mostly kalau electrophile tu adalah hydrogen lah. Tapi let's look here. Okay, so first reaction of our alkene itself is actually uh, with our uh, hydrogen gas and catalyst. So for this case, what we're going to learn is actually uh, what will happen is that we're going to add two of our hydrogen. So in this case, this is actually our original alkene kan? Okay, this is our original alkene. What will happen? Electrophilic addition ni, we're going to remove one of the bond ni. Tapi kita akan form two new bonds. Okay, so once we form two new bond, we have to attach uh, an atom to it. So for the case of hydrogenation, we're going to add two hydrogen. So we're going to add two hydrogen. So that is for the case from the alkene to alkene. Okay, next is what we have seen is actually for the addition uh, halogenation. But in this case, it's in a inert solvent. 
uh, in this case we have br2 so what we're going to add we're going to add two of bromine atom if the reagent given is cl2 we're going to add uh, two lah of our chlorine atom so again what we're going to do okay from our alkene our original alkene kita akan remove double bond but we're going to add two new bond kan okay what we're going to add we're going to add both of our bromine okay so that is for the halogenation in inert solvent next is um still our halogen but then here we have our h2o so here we're gonna formation of halohydrin. Halohydrin it means that our compound tu contains OH and it contains halogen itself. Okay, tapi dalam case ni, uh, we're gonna add two different atom kan? Okay, when we um talking about adding two different atom, then we're gonna look at the case of Markovnikov tu lah. They got the electrophile will add to the carbon carbon with more hydrogen. Okay, dalam case ni, uh, selalu ni senang nak ingat yang kat sini, apa yang, uh, what will be added is actually hydrogen itself lah. Hydrogen that will be added. Tapi formation of halohydrin ni, we're gonna add bromine, we're gonna add OH. So, uh, sebenarnya in this case, bromine is our electrophile. Tapi, macam mana kita nak tahu carbon with more hydrogen, carbon with less hydrogen? So, let's look for the compound itself lah. Okay, for this compound, when we look uh, here, we have carbon-carbon double bond kan? Okay, so for this carbon, we have uh, attached to it two hydrogen. So, when it attached to it is two hydrogen, what we have here, okay, terus lah, two hydrogen. Okay, this one, the, uh, this carbon attached to it only one hydrogen. So, lagi satu ni CH3 kan? So, here it contains one hydrogen. So, we have to um, label lah which one is more hydrogen, which one is less. So, ni yang more hydrogen. This one is the one with the less hydrogen. Nah, senang nanti. We're going to see uh, which atom is added to which carbon. Okay, dalam kes ni, what we're going to add. Uh, our bromine with carbon with more hydrogen. More hydrogen yang mana satu? Okay, on your left hand side. Okay, bila addition, again, remove the double bond. We're going to change it into two new bond. Okay, bromine add to more hydrogen. So, more hydrogen is on your left hand side. We're going to add bromine. Okay, and then, kalau yang apa ni, the OH itself is the carbon with less hydrogen. So, this one contains only one. So, this one will be the OH. So, this is the halohydrin. Okay, next so we're going to look at is the hydrohalogenation. In this case, well, hydrohalogenation because we have our hydrogen one, when we have our halogen. Okay, ha, yang ini hindi senang sikit sebab kita tengok H ha, with more H. So, another one tu, kan the H, lagi satu Cl. Cl will be added to the one with less H. So, dalam kes ni, <coughs> again, yang more H tu yang... Uh, left hand side here right so here I will add hydrogen so the one next to it we're gonna add chlorine okay next one is hydration hydration we're gonna add water lah tapi kita bukannya terus tambah kat sini H2O it's not we're gonna add one H one OH again hydrogen will be added to the carbon with more hydrogen so yang OH lagi satu tu will added to the carbon with less hydrogen so, kita buat kat sini, what we're going to do, remove the double bond, but we're going to add two new bond. Okay, hydrogen will be added to the one with more hydrogen. Uh, another one, we're going to add OH. Then, we will form our alcohol. Okay, so this five reaction will follow the Markovnikov rule. So, that's why I highlighted it using yellow color. Okay, next, okay, only for the anti-Markovnikov rule, uh, only one, uh, only one reagent, okay? Anti-Markovnikov rule, it means that electrophile added to the carbon-carbon with less hydrogen. Uh, dalam case ni senang kita nak ingat, uh, electrophile kita hydrogen lah. Okay, for this case, hint dia is only HBr dengan H2O2 ni. Must be HBr and H2O2. Kalau HCl, H, H2O2, cannot. Tapi, um, kalau HPR, H2O2, yes. Besides H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, sometimes it use this one. CH3, OOCH3. 
Okay, in this case, ha, dia terbalik eh. Dia bukan yang macam kita selalu buat tu. Maknanya, in this case of anti-Markovnikov rule. Okay, kita guna highlight yang kali ni. For the anti-Markovnikov rule, hydrogen will be added uh, to the less hydrogen. Ha, yang less kan, yang right hand side kan. So, this one will be the hydrogen. So, this one will be bromine. Ha, only one of it. Only one of the reagent that we learn that will follow anti-Markovnikov rule. Okay, so that is actually the addition reaction. Okay, next we're going to learn about the ozonolysis. So, for the ozonolysis, uh, it's actually what we're going to do. It's actually we're going to break the bond. Okay, but then when we break the bond, what we're going to do next is actually we're going to add oxygen. So, what happened here? Okay, for example, we have kita punya ni kan. We have our hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen. We have double bond here, right? So, what we're going to do next is actually we're going to add oxygen to it. So, we're going to do kat sini. Kita akan ambil ni. Oxygen. Okay, but then that's only one part when we divide this part. So, how about this one? Uh, we have to divide as well. So, we're going to do plus. Okay, what we have is C. For the two CH3 and hydrogen. Okay, don't forget the double bond there. So, we're going to write down the double bond. And then, we have our oxygen. Okay. So, from here, we're going to form carbonyl. Carbonyl is where we have our C double bond O. Okay, so for the ozonolysis, straightforward. Okay, what we're going to do is actually we're going to divide this. Uh, we're going to uh, add oxygen to the one with the double bond lah. Okay, next is KMNO4 H plus heat. So, this is actually oxidation. Okay, so oxidation ni, it, um, there are requirements for it. So, yang ni is not straightforward as ozonolysis lah. Okay, for the alkene itself, if we have two hydrogen, the carbon here will change to CO2 and H2O. Bayangkan yang C ni jadi CO2. Okay, this hydrogen akan jadi H2O. Okay, kalau if you have one hydrogen, okay, what you're going to do is actually, kat sini kita akan tambah double bond O. Tapi where we have our H ni jadi OH. CH3, we're going to let it be. But then, if, yang ini bukan OH tau ni, if you have zero hydrogen, what you're going to do macam ozonolysis lah. Add double bond O sahaja. Okay, but this case, the first one, the C, um, the first carbon ni, it has two hydrogen. So, what is the product form? So, the product form is actually, we have our CO2 plus H2O. Okay, so that is for this one. Uh, for this part, uh, this carbon here, it only has one hydrogen. So, what is the product? Actually, okay, we have our carbon. I'm just going to add kat sini. We have our carbon. We have our CH3, right? Okay, carbon. CH3. Okay. So, next what we're going to do. COOH ni, what does it mean? Maknanya dekat sini, we're going to take the double bond. Macam ozonolysis. We're going to take the double bond. Produce the oxygen. Okay, tapi macam mana kita dapat form the OH ni? The hydrogen itself ni, dia akan add kita punya. We're going to add it. Ha, o. H. Okay. Ha, dia kalau yang primary dia. Ha, primary. Only one hydrogen. Dia macam lain sikit. Okay. Dia satu macam kita ni ozonolysis. Add oxygen. Tapi yang ada hydrogen tu. We're going to add OH. Okay. So that is for the oxidation. Okay. The last reaction. Sebenarnya this reaction is actually our. Um, apa ni? Chemical test. Which is our Bayer test. Okay. For the case of Bayer test. We're going to add. 2OH. Uh, so, in this case, when we're adding two identical atom, there's no need lah for you to identify yang more hydrogen, less hydrogen. Okay, so what we're gonna do dalam case ni, okay, kita akan ambil ni, we're gonna remove the uh, double bond, we're gonna add atom, add OH on both side. Okay, so that is actually the reaction equation for alkene itself. Okay, and then last one, uh, for the alkene, what we have learned, it's actually about the chemical test. Okay, so for the chemical test, there's only uh, two lah. One is the Bayer test. Here is what we call our bromine test. Here, uh, actually, um, for the case of Bayer test, uh, this is actually the observation lah. This is actually the equation. Here is the equation for Bayer test. 
Ha, this is of the observation. Okay, so sama lah dekat sini. Yang reddish brown de color decolorize tu. Ha, it's actually for this reaction kan. Okay, this one the equation. This one is the observation. Kalau yang Br2H2O, yellowish brown color decolorize. Is the reaction for this one. Okay. So that is actually the mind map for the reaction of alkene. Okay, the next one uh, on the page 2 pun is actually for your alkene juga. So what you're going to do, I believe uh, this you could try yourself. And yang ini you have to submit the examples uh, on the Google Classroom. Okay, so that's it for this video.